Oh, I wish I was in the land of cotton. Old times there are not forgotten. Look away, look away. We always seem to look away when it comes to slavery, fact. There are more women in slavery today than the populations of Ireland, Israel, Singapore, and Puerto Rico combined. They are ripped from freedom, then bought and sold like penny stocks on the black market. These women, they are perishable human commodities that are too easily acquired and more easily discarded. So when they're used up, they're just simply trashed. That's a euphemism for slaughtered, butchered, murdered fat. 99% of human trafficking victims will never be rescued, which means 1% can. Have you seen them? These innocent mothers, these precious little girls who've had more abortions than birthdays, they are 27 million and gone. They are the new black slave and, and this is the new South. So I guess that makes you and I the good old Southern white folks who lived in between plantations, never owned a slave, but heard the whistle of the master's whip, cat calling black flesh from bone every day. They were comfortably and purposely ignorant, but not completely innocent. So just because you can't see the plantations or hear the whips, does not mean that slavery does not exist, trust me. When the history books are written, they will judge you and I like we did the Old South. It is said that shortly after the Southern dreams of secede died that the phrase, the South shall rise again was born and it has. Not geographically speaking, but I'm talking about that Southern state of mind that says, it's okay for one person to own another person like property, y'all. Slavery is back and it is stronger than ever before. Fact, there are more slaves living in Texas today than there were in the 1800s. And like most movies, this Southern slavery sequel starring the, the big old black buck on the auction block that you could buy for $379, well today, with just the low, low price of $90, you can own the life of the new slave. She is tiny, young, and Asian. Fact, every year, thousands of American men fly to Bangkok to Bangkok first class for third world rest, relaxation, and raping. They spend weeks and millions of dollars boosting the Thai economy and their fragile egos. Imagine these American men separated only by glass, facing 35 abused, abandoned girls as young as 10 and no older than 14. Each trial dressed in red, accessorized in matching sadness with the number pinned above her heart. I'll take number 19 and 22. Welcome to the new South, y'all. When little girls are being harvested like crops and brothels. Oh, I wish I was in the land of cotton. Old times there are not forgotten. Look away just because you don't see it. Look away doesn't mean it's not there. Look away.